Today, we have a game that started its own genre and an on-rails cosmic adventure. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which game moves forward. It's Super Mario Kart versus Star Fox on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. Star Fox versus Super Mario Kart. Do, 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 do. Um, this Dude, these are, look, look. These are completely different, and it's a little rough. And I, I, I don't, look, even, I don't a, even have... A mismatch in genres is inevitable when you're doing a list like yeah. this. This is not our top 16... Similar thread, they both go fast. They do both go fast. And you go, um, and you go forward. But one goes a little faster. Mm, yeah, visuals. Let's get... <laughs> I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to go Mario. <laughs> Y'all good? No. I'm broken. <laughs> I'm broken. Are, are, are you finished or are you done? He does that to me every time on the podcast. I'm like, are we ready? And he's like, all right, here, episode blah, blah, blah. So I figured guard, I'd was, catch him. It was such a good segue. This episode's brought to you by Pepsi Zero Sugar. Um, it was such a good segue. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Anyway. Right, no, visuals. Uh, what were you saying, Steve? I'm sorry. I was going to go with Mario Kart for visuals. Yeah. And the only reason I'm going to say Mario Kart for visuals is because, mm. you know, as much as I enjoy Star Fox, as much as I love Star Fox, Star Fox is a... Mm. I'm going Star Fox. Right. I think Star Fox has more unique visuals. Mm -hmm. These are both extremely unique. But there really was no other game like Star Fox on the system. No. You did see games like Power Rangers, Zeo Battle Racing, or whatever it's called, that tried to emulate and successfully imitated it, um, but nothing really. Uh, Star Fox is... Yo, Stunt Race FX. I mean, they did they did really well, but <laughs> was it, wasn't, it wasn't trying to be a space shooter. That was rough. That game's rough. It is hard. I just played it recently. It's actually really me and Brad, me and Brad fired up. My eyes were bleeding. My eyes were bleeding. Um, <laughs> no, but, but yeah, I'm saying visually, I think Star Fox deserves the edge here because um, it just didn't. Got to turn the cap backwards. I think Mario Super Mario Kart was often mm. imitated, never duplicated, and Star Fox was never imitated nor duplicated on the Super mm -hmm. Nintendo. No. That's my that's my spill. I'm gonna I'm gonna borrow a comment from one of our YouTube comments on the last one. A Star Fox is just a glorified tech demo. Uh, not I not really I mean it is. Yeah I mean, it, it is, is. FX chip. It's not that's not a false statement. No it's, it's not, not a false statement. But I, in my opinion though, mm -hmm. like I don't know, just the level design on Mario Kart, yeah. you know, the fully fleshed out characters and things like that, in my opinion, I, I like those visuals. Yeah. Um, I mean, Sprite works good. It runs, yeah. it runs smooth, and that's 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 the problem. I'm trying not to look at it just just strictly from graph uh, a graphical standpoint because, the, uh, you know, it, like you said, you know, watching stunt race stunt race FX, it makes your eyes bleed. And and man, Star Fox, you and know, I'll it, say Star Fox chugs. looks worse. Star Fox looks worse, but it's just it was trying something but it, different. It's, I have to, and it, it it succeeded. I have to it's, go Star Fox. It succeeded. Yeah, I, it, it sucks because I the, honestly, I'm just gonna be going as a Jacob bias. These are my two of my favorite games on the SNES platform. Right Did y'all ever see Star Fox on 60 FPS? I showed that to you. Yeah. You showed that to me. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> amazing. But but it's, it's really it's, good. It's yeah, and, and people are, people are probably gonna go like, oh, I've seen that, I've played that. It just doesn't look good. And yeah, and yeah, if you're just looking at two of them side by side, if my nana looked at both of these games side by side, she'd go, I don't know what that is. That's Mario on a cart. I get that. Also, but, the characters look a little weird. And, and Star, and uh, not Star Fox, in uh, Mario Kart. They're a little compressed. They're like, like Mario looks kind of. I actually prefer the way he looks like in this game than Super Mario World. But like some of them characters just look a little funny. Like Donkey look... Kong's got a wife beater. Well, that's Donkey Kong well, Junior. Junior. Oh, it's Junior. Oh my gosh. Anyways. Well, I think grows up to be Donkey Kong anyway. Eh? Uh, no, yeah. because Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Junior were. Doubles partners we're, in tennis we're in on the, 64. We're in the Kong. The Kong. Uh, look, we, we always finish. get lost in the Kong family the tree. Kong family tree. Trying uh, to find incestuous. Who <laughs> is who? It's like a Wampin' Willow, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a banana tree. <laughs> it's a banana tree. Ooh, Ooh, banana. Banana. No, I gotta go with Star Fox. It, it strictly, I think I'm, I'm. I was with Steve and I was going, but it's just from like, hey, this when this game came out on this console at the time, there was nothing like it, and to this day, is still nothing like it on that console. Yes. Audio. I love Super Mario Kart. It's right. got some great music. Star Fox. Is dude, Star Holy moly, Without dude. a doubt, Star Fox on the holy audio. Are you moly. kidding me? Between the sound effects, between the absolute bangers. I mean, dun, 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 d
victory music. If you're drinking while you're watching this, take a shot every time Steve says banger. Bang. If you're watching, bang. The, if you watch the entire series, you're gonna have to go to the hospital and get your stomach pumped. Um, Don't do it, man. In one just like there, yeah, I agree. There, all those start. Those Mar Mario Kart jingles for those tracks. They they set the pace, the groundwork for all the Mario Karts going forward. But Star Fox, like. To the you guys get goosebumps the sound a lot of stuff. The sound effects. I can play that game yet. Yeah, when you when the victory music. Look, remember remember when um, I played there was a silly game called Starlink on the Switch and I showed you and you were like, okay, it's cool. And then when you call your team in, he's like, all steps check in, and that, and that music kicks in and you're like, the music. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look, yeah. The, 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 <laughs> the sound effect. The blast off. The the voice. The voice work. Voice work. Yeah. The voice work. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Star Fox Star audio Fox. and sound effects. By the way. Da -da 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 -da. Twin blasters. It's Bar -bar. just if I had yeah if I had to pick. <laughs> yeah. Mechanically, <laughs> Super Mario Kart. I'm sorry if Star Fox was a 60 frames per second game like Steve yeah. said, this would be a different story. I'm, but it's not in Mario Kart. I'm, if, I'm gonna go ahead and check it off while I'm talking about it. It stands the test time better. I'm sorry. No, um, I, I agree with you. I, that's one of my checks in the Mario Kart department. In that, um, and it's Star Fox. Like Star Fox is great. You go in the first per first person mode. You go back out. You have those modes. You have the the barrel roll that's infamous. But at the end of the day, you're pointing forward. You're shooting blasters. You're dodging things. Mario Kart, and and it is a kart racer, and it set the groundwork for kart racers. But what I love, and we talked about before, is the uniqueness of the characters. Knowing that if I'm behind Peach, I'm, I want to move because if she drops that that mushroom, I'm going to shrink and I'm going to get ran over by Bowser, who's right on my tail I right think, now. Yeah, I think... Um, There's strategy for a kart racer on the SNES in this Super game. Super Mario Kart has much more replayability, especially I mean, being multiplayer. That yeah, inherently gives it battle, more multiplayer. Battle mode. Uh, more replayability. But Star Fox, I mean, let's be honest, you've got three different courses to go, and, or th three different tracks. And after you're done with that, you've kind of seen it all. Whereas with Mario Kart, it's the game that keeps on giving. And, yeah. it, and as it has gone further in time, <coughs> it has become that more and more. It's every time you play it, something new's happening. Even yeah. though you're playing the racing the same tracks, the outcome's not the same. But you want to play every racer just to get, like you were silly like, silly like me as a kid, to see that unique ending for the uh, for winning the cup. You know, Toad has a, the vine that grows out of his cup. Uh, uh, Yoshi throws his and whatever. You know. Like we can play Mario Kart. Like let's let's pretend Super Mario Kart was four player. It's not, but uh, just like I'm gonna compare it to Mario Kart Eight. I feel like we play that. We can play the same track several times, but it's still fun to play the same track mm -hmm. because we're it's competitive it's racing. A unique, yeah, experience every time. Mechanically, Great. Super Mario Kart narrative. Oh wait, did you uh, not? I was about to say. Oh, I guess sorry, I, sorry. I, I can't. Well, I can't. I guess I'll just go ahead and leave oh, and let y'all no, 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 I thought you said you. Um, honestly, mechanics. I felt Star Fox. I felt Star Fox's yeah. mechanics. I think they really set the standard for uh, arcade rail uh, spaceship shooters, dogfighting shooters. You know, I think they really set the standard for that. And in my opinion, I just think it was done very, very good. You know, because not only are you trying to shoot stuff, but you're also trying to dodge stuff too. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that really hadn't been done as well on a console yet, if at all. Um, and, and Star Fox seemed to me like it was one of the first ones to really perfect it. And so, in my opinion, and it's just so, in my opinion, it's a unique, it's a unique form of um, those arcade shooters. Because the arcade shooters that you had before then were just Galaga, where you're just looking down. Galaga, uh, what's that other one? You were talking know, about X-Wing. Mm. Or TIE Fighter, whatever it's called. X-Wing and TIE Fighter, yeah, those were really good too. Those uh, were those were rail shooters, technically, weren't Cap they? No, that's more free... free Captain Skyhawk. And you were yes. all, uh, Basically, you were in all range mode the entire time. Okay. You know, I really don't know how else to put it. It's free movement. No, it, I mean, mechanically, it, it is definitely doing something unique for that system, just exactly. like the visuals are. I, know, I agree with that. I just, I gotta give it to Kart, just for the slightest edge. I'll, and, I'll, go ahead, we'll finish up. And, and honestly, just the fact okay. that, you know, you're going through, sometimes you're going through space, sometimes you're going you're, through. You're on planet side. Planet side, yeah. you know. Yeah, I yeah. thought that was really cool. Blasting off. Yeah. Into, yeah, 100%. I agree. I think, uh, so this next one, narrative, I think is a shoe in for Star Fox, because oh, yeah. Mario Kart's just, there is no story. No. So I think that's. Uh, yeah, we don't need to explain that one. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on this one, Brian. You said it first. I'll go ahead and say it off the top here. Stands the test of time. I, I Look, I can go back as a fan just because I'm a fanboy and play that game. But, man, if you were someone on the outside that never played the SNES, or maybe you didn't grow up playing Star Fox and I gave it to you now, and you go, ooh, man, you really enjoy this game? Because we're going to talk about poor frame rate. That, yeah, that FX exactly. chip is being pushed to its limit. I know. I, I say this almost every limit. 
I, I know I say this almost every episode, but as someone who has had to play through these games to record all the gameplay you're seeing down here, um, Star Fox was almost aggravating. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh trying God. to do a barrel roll. Yeah. Like, yeah. whenever there was, like, sometimes it would activate because there wasn't as much going on screen, but the more bad guys start flooding the screen... Oh, no, you get a Venom, and there's just Dude, a bazillion it's things hard. flying It's The you. responsiveness is literally just not there, and that's yeah. why, mechanically, Steve, I know it's doing special things. I understand. It's just, if it was responsive enough in 60 frames per second, I feel like it. I would have given it the edge here, but... I can't. I'm Mario Kart. Yeah. Look, I, I, I'm gonna put it to you this way, uh, real quick. Okay, if they would take Star Fox and remake it like as it was, not no Star Fox 64, because Star Fox 64 is pretty different. Yeah. Uh, and remake it, you know, flush out, maybe flush out some some polygons a little more, uh, improve that frame rate. It would be practically flawless. Now, for me, the test of time, I said neither. Neither truly. Stand. You don't think Mario Kart does? No, because I feel like if I'm going to pick up a Mario Kart game, it's n it is not going to be Super Mario Kart. I'm like, like I love that game at its time, and maybe I want to pick up Super Mario Kart to pick up Super Mario Kart, but if I'm having a hankering for Mario Kart in general, I'm staying away from that one, because that one's pretty difficult to pick up. I, I think it's very difficult for people who haven't played that type of Mario Kart before. It can like, be. You and I, and, and you know, the three of us can probably pick it up and play it with no problem. But I feel like, you know, when I'm trying to test, the, see if it stands the test of time, I'm trying to compare it to John Q. Public. And in my opinion, it's very difficult for John Q. Public to pick that one up. So, And, and then just Star Fox with its obvious examples. To me, neither one of them truly stand the test, the test of time. So it's a tie for me. <laughs> What would be revolutionary for you? Star Fox. Mario Kart. I say Star Fox. <sighs> this I, is... I've pretty much gone over it with the mechanics, so I'm not going to restate my arguments, but... It Mario Kart it. created a genre mm -hmm. that yeah. has clearly been in, um, imitated yeah. and very barely duplicated. Yeah. And it's one of the most successful franchises, franchises ever yeah i would i i would ever to quote you uh the mario movie is coming out next week and yeah. one of the biggest yeah, highlights is the cards yeah. yeah i agree with you brandon uh, but i do think from a, from 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 to an extent i think star fox kind of did that as well they may not have created the real shooter um, something tells me i can't quote it i don't know what it is like but i think something has existed prior to star fox that was a I know, real and i kind of want to i kind of want to say that to you brandon but i can't confirm that i can't confirm it either whole, whole and i'm lot. not googling so it don't quote, <laughs> don't quote me on there but i think they perfected that genre in my opinion if they didn't create uh, the genre i in, think they they really set the star standard fox? for it I'd, i think if you were talking about star fox 64 i'd agree with you but not here well, I, think, I love dude. I love Star Fox. I think Star Fox. I, like, I think I like Star Fox one more than I like Star Fox sixty four. I think Star Fox. But objectively set stage, speaking, in my opinion, I don't think it hit its. It didn't hit its stride till sixty four. I can agree with you there, but so I, think, I think Star Fox planted that seed, and that seed sprouted into a wondrous cheese and peas, man. Are we talking about revolutionary still? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, this is one where I you had can a, say tie if you'd like. Yeah, I had a tie. Uh, but I'm getting swayed by by you, Brandon, and it just feels like so don't get swayed by him. Sway by me. You've been you swayed me once or twice already. I, it's, it's just it's, it's not my intention. I'm just stating I feel the like, facts. I feel like saying that just, out loud feels like I've got bamboo shoots being shoved down my fingernails. It hurts. It, 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 that's how you know it's right because it hurts. It hurts to because say because it. It, it, it's <sighs> Star Fox set me on the course to love that kind of genre of gameplay to love. Everything about flying jets and playing Top Gun and all that nostalgia with the 80s and 90s. It was everything packaged. I had never seen it before in a video game. Put together, like Steve said, that way in that rail shooter. and that You got to go in the first person. But it's just like Mario Kart is the grand daddy of kart racers and how and, and and not only the granddaddy of kart racers like i i try to as if i'm marty mcfly and i step on a butterfly and all of a sudden mario kart doesn't get made ctr does it ever get made does sonic team racing does any of all these does anyone get the idea bubsy yeah does bubsy just make do, a kart racer kart, kart racer i feel like it's that picture the kart racer just goes and it fades right and Mario kart racers kart. are great. I love kart racers. Yeah, Mario Kart does that. I love kart racers. I love kart. They're the best. Um, so I have to say, tie with the slightest edge to Mario Kart. And that, God, dang it, that feels terrible. Steve. What's 
What's best rep? I don't even say it. Just yeah, say it. this is Mario Kart. What's Mario Kart? What's, what's best representation? Mario Kart. Mario Kart represents the console better. Without a doubt. For sure. Without a doubt. It's. I don't, I think we all have to say why. Y'all ready for the hard part? Yeah. Steve, right. I think Steve's ready to go. Yeah, I'm going to go first. Star I'll Fox. I'll go second. I think Star you. Fox oh. wins it, in my opinion. I just think that it's so... I mean, they so it did create a genre, but I do think that there are, there are other racing games on the SNES, like F-Zero and things like that. Um, and I'm not necessarily saying that like they're they're comparable because they are vastly different in a way. You know, Super Mario Kart, like you said, like we all agree, they created a genre. But in my opinion, Star Fox really was. I mean, they they literally made that game for the purpose of showing off this FX chip and, and this FX chip and and they push that thing to its absolute limit. And I think that it does a very good job at it. I think it's a very fun game. It's really unique in that you know you're you're a fox in space. Like who'd have thunk of that? Who'd have thought of that? Shigeru Miyamoto. Shigeru Miyamoto. Okay. And okay. Just, <laughs> in, in my opinion. <laughs> okay. And then just just all those things together, man. Can I the, vote? the audio, the mechanics. You know, it's the only one with a narrative. I'm gonna go with Star Fox. Sorry. I am gonna go with Super Mario Kart. I'm I'm not doing it on purpose. I promise, I think just with all of the arguments made, I can't see past. It's, I said it before, I opened up with it, and I'm going to close with it. I think if Star Fox was a 60 FPS, if, if it was completely responsive and smooth the way it was, I think I would be harder pressed to make this vote. But Super Mario Kart clearly stands the test time better. It's still, you can pick that game up, you can play it, it's responsive. Um, it was doing a lot of really unique things that even though Star Fox was doing a lot of unique stuff, I feel like they just got a little bit more creative with what Mario Kart could be, and it paved the way. I'm sorry, Jacob, I'm stalling for time for you. Super Mario Kart's my vote. My ears are red right now. Can the camera pick that up? They are red. They're, are they red. red? They're warm! Ha! Ow! I'm stressing. <laughs> I'm stressing. It's tough. The strongest choices require this. The, the hardest choices require the strongest wills. I, I want to vote for Star Fox. The... I want to vote for Star Fox. I love it. I love that weird looking puppet fella on the on the cover art. It's weird looking, and I love it. I love everything. It's iconic, about. isn't it? I it is. That. It is. But I, it's another one of those things where, just like with Yoshi's Island, I've done it twice now. Even though one is my favorite. I had to go with the other because in my in my weird gamer gut, gamer gut, it just feels like the right thing to say. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. I'm doing this 100% based off of I just what I feel like is the the public's consciousness. Oh no. Of of, of Don't this. don't let that be the reason for your no, vote though. No, because oh no, it has to be because if not oh, no. if not the bias just overwhelms and I I don't want to throw something in there. Oh, Because no. here's the thing I'm looking at. I'm looking at a bracket and I'm trying to put one of these against a winner that we just talked about and it's tough to do that. Brandon, I think you broke him. I have to say Star Mario Kart. I want to cry. Oh, I have to say I'm gonna, Dude, I'm going to start crying with you. I'm gonna, dude, I'm going to be crying on the next one. Brandon, morning, bro. Brandon we broke him. <laughs> Steve, dude, I, I'm, I'm 100% with you, man. But I, so this is where it came down to. It just comes down to like Right now, I'm, I'm Googling best NES games of all time, and I see Mario Kart up there above Star Fox. Star Fox is a great game, but I think it hit me as an individual on a certain level that that just puts it in my brain. If this was Jacob's list, this would be over. Well, sure, that's what I'm saying. It would be 100% over. That's if, what if, I'm this saying. Was, if these were all, if all of these were released in the game of the year, Star Fox is because we base our game of the years off of our fun factor. Sure. And Star Fox is up top. But if I going off of this, this piece of amazing, beautiful equipment that our childhood revolved around, it's got a sur- a, 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 a what's the a harem of games around it in Mario Kart. Harem. <laughs> a harem. Harem. A harem of games around it that and Mario Kart's in there. I, I oh, yeah. Mario Kart. And I love Mario Kart. I freaking love Mario Kart. My son plays Mario Kart. I played Mario Kart with him to this day. I love it. It's yeah, Mario Kart. It deserves it. Hmm. 
Say it, Steve. Mario Kart win. <laughs> <laughs> no, kidding. we should be Mario excited. Kart we should be excited. Hey, look, I'm seriously, Mario, Mario Kart wins. Really they deserve it. It's a good game. Unfortunately, Jacob had to make a tough decision, and Super Mario Kart moves forward as our winner. But will it make it all the way to the top? Subscribe to find out, and as always, leave us a like and comment down below on how you feel about these incredible games. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode of Video Game Fight Club.